Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. It is an honor to share and discuss with you here. I am giving this report on behalf of Professor Long Yu. The topic of our report is Bioelectric Nanocrack-Based Nanoelectromechanical Switch for Memory and Complementary Logic. I will give my presentation from three aspects. Faster speed, miniaturization, high density, and low power consumption have become important goals pursued by electronic devices in the future. In order to meet the booming development of information technology, it is urgent to study low power devices. In the past few decades, device feature size has been continuously reduced under the guidance of Mars law. However, as the size is reduced to a few nanometers, leakage current becomes a big problem. Static power consumption cannot be ignored, and CMOS has a minimum operating voltage limit due to Bertman limitation. In recent years, various CMOS technologies have been proposed to develop low-power devices. Among the nano-electromechanical switch and cytoelectric device are two devices that have been hotly discussed. AM switch is an electrically re regulated mechanical switch with characteristic size on the order of nanometers. It has an abrupt on-off switching process and thus can achieve ultra-low sub-threshold screening. In addition, in principle, it applies zero leakage current and high on-off current ratio. However, it also has some many, uh, it has some limitations, such as complex preparation process, large control voltage, and material and structure failure. Spiroelectric oxides utilize polarization switching to construct the functional devices by voltage control, offering great advantages in non-volatile, scalability, and energy efficiency. To date, diverse spiroelectric devices have been developed and extensively investigated, such as spiroelectric cluster memory, Bioelectric field effect transistor, bioelectric tunnel junction, and so on. In this work, we will introduce an emerging beyond most technology, bioelectric nanocrack device. This device combines the advantages of AEM switch and a bioelectric device. Previous studies have shown that under cyclic electric field, Cracks with nanoscale waves can be induced in cytoelectric single crystals. Interestingly, the crack can open and close with the cytoelectric domain switching, which can act as a mechanical switch. However, we find that the location and state of cracks are very random, and it is difficult to accurately control them. These problems limit their continued in-depth application. In our previous work, we have realized the precise control of crack locations and crack states by designing a bridge structure. This is due to that the appearance of the, the cracks are regarded as the release of the elastic energy produced from domain switching and the three and this is related to the electric field distribution. The crack is easy to be induced in the location with high electric fields. Through designing the device patterns, non-uniform electric field distribution can be achieved. In addition, we have found a complementary switching characteristic of double cracks. In this device, 
one crack is open, while the other one is always closed. This phenomenon resembles the complementary CMOS technology. Thus, they can construct complementary logic based on the number crack devices. However, there are still some crucial issues to be tackled for this new technology. For example, the scaling performance of this dielectric nano crack device is lacking, and it is desired to condense the memory and logic function into a single device level, which can be applicable for logic in memory. With these questions in mind, we launched the following further research. Firstly, we introduced the single crack based memory device. This device is comprised of dielectric oxide and metallic thin film on top of the oxide layer. The film is etched into parallel strips with a gap length Lg. The voltage Vg is responsible for inducing the crack formation and control the crack switching. We applied the triangular voltage waveform to induce a crack. After the crack is induced in the oxide layer, it will extend into the metallic thin film and reversibly switch in the film. VDS serves as the reading voltage to detect the resistance, which is decided by the state of crack. When the crack is open, a nanoscale air gap is formed and the current path is cut off, leading to a high resistance state. The operator VG enables the closing of the crack, and the current path recovers, corresponding to a low resistance state. Thereby, we can find that it is a non-destructive without process here. The SEM image shows the morphology of the crack. In this work, we select PMNPT single crystal as the hydroelectric material and the MNPT as the metallic thin film. From the IV curve, we can find that our device shows a high on off character ratio even at a small VDS and also presents a non volatile characteristic. In order to confirm the metallic context at the closed state, we compared the on currents before and after the crack is induced. Through compare the black and the blue lines, a small difference indicates the metallic context even after the crack is induced. Also, our device shows good stability and the voltage pulses and, and a wide working temperature range. Next, we investigated the spinning down of our device. Through simulation analysis, we found that the operating voltage can be effectively reduced by reducing the gap long LG. Interestingly, sub 1 volt operating voltage can be obtained with LG reduced to 100 nanometers. Then we fabricated the devices with different LG. When LG is 500 nanometers, the operating voltage uh, average 3.5 volts, while when LG is 300 nanometers, the operating voltage can be reduced to about 2.5 volts which are consistent with the simulation results. This figure summarizes summarize the operating voltage for different LG. With LG decreasing, the operate, operating voltage reduces quickly. We also illustrate the minimum single device structure design, which is potentially scalable down to dimensions with only two domains. Since the crack is mostly possible induced along the domain boundary. 
in order to confirm the stability of operating voltages of our device, we have carried out cyclic tests of switching loops and conducted the steady state analysis. Specifically, the forward switching voltages are extracted from the loops, and we record the counts of different voltages. We find that the distribution of the forward switching voltages follows a Gaussian distribution, and these results confirm the stability of operating voltage. Also, we ex extracted HRS and LLS from the repeatability tests, which show a high off ratio for different devices. Our device also showed good retention both for on state and off state. Then we demonstrate the logic case based on the complementary switching of double crack, as shown in this one. The basic structure is the same as the previous one for memory logic, but for memory application. But here we focus on the correlation of two cracks induced in the separated thin film zones. And the application of VG, one can always find that one crack is open and the other one maintains closed. The underlying mechanism is the complementary distribution of electrical field. The SEM image clearly shows that the two cracks have opposite states. And the IV curves, we can find that when crack 1 is open, the crack 2 is closed, confirming the complementary characteristic. In order to construct a logic case, we add an insulating layer and a top metal layer in the device. The insulating layer is used to isolate the output signal from the input one. This is the top view of the circuit. V1 is applied on the bottom electrode to control the crack switching. When V1 is positive, crack 1 is open and crack 2 is closed. Thus, V out will, connect, will be connected, connected to V3 electrode. On the contrary, when V1 is negative, crack 1 is closed and crack 2 is open. V out is connected to V2 electrode. This is one fabricated device. This is the output characteristic of our fabricated inverse logic, and this is the circuit diagram. When input, input voltage is high, the output voltage is low. This is one out of two multiplexer. When this cell is assigned to zero, the out outputs the signal of VA. And when the cell is set to 1, the out is consistent with VB. We also demonstrate AND and ALL logic. This is a half adder logic based on two devices. This is a summary performance of our device. It has a high on off ratio and a wide working temperature range. Uh, this is a calculated low red energy. It should be noted that some features are theoret theoretically predicted, which need further experimental investigation. As a summary, in this work, we have condensed the memory and the logic function in a single phyroelectric nano correct device. A reliable metal lake context is confirmed but through comparing the conductance before and after the crack is induced. A zero offset leakage current is obtained due to the ideal cutoff characteristic of the crack. Thus, a high off cut ratio has been demonstrated. At sub-micrometer scale dimensions, 
the low oxidation voltage have been observed, and we have constructed a logical case based on the complementary switching characteristic and a, a, a variety of logic states such as not multiplexer and an all logic function have been demonstrated. Thus, we believe that the nano character based devices of a new energy efficient hardware platform for logic in memory application. This is our, our report. Thanks. Thanks. That's all.